believe it or not, there's a there's a 180 day to one year suspension for purchasing alcohol for a minor. So moms and dad, if your kid is talking you into buying them a six pack of beer on their 18th birthday, just note that if there's any issues with that, if there's any problems with that, and this is especially important for those friends of classmates, younger brothers and sisters, what have you, you're off in college, you're 21, you come back to town, your younger brother, his friends, younger sister, her friends, oh, just get us some wine coolers, get us some beer. You get caught doing that, license suspension. So watch that. That's not a penalty you want to incur, especially if you need the right to drive to get back and forth to higher education or your career or your military service or whatever that may be. Don't let that interrupt your ability to drive, your freedom. Also, the transportation code's been amended by our legislature for mandatory suspension of license for drug cases. And these are just possession cases, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, drug compounds, falsifying drug tests. These are all things that can result in a drug, excuse me, a driver's license suspension. It doesn't, doesn't seem to be correlated. It, it seems to be a penalty, especially I've seen it applied harshly against people you know, might have some marijuana on them, a minor in possession of some marijuana, or uh, somebody who's just above the age of majority and they have some marijuana on them. What does having that marijuana in their pocket have to do with their ability to drive? Doesn't matter. Legislature says that's what we're doing. Folks, that's what we're doing. If you don't like it, this is not Colorado. This is not Oregon. This is not California. The law here is not progressive and I would advise caution, extreme caution, and if you're gonna enjoy that stuff, enjoy that stuff in a place where you can do it legally and your license won't be a risk. Also remember the Department of Public Safety has authority to suspend your license for certain driving scenarios. And they're, they're in charge of this and it's just part of their administrative procedure, but multiple, multiple scenarios of driving without a license, driving recklessly, things of that nature. If you have some sort of sleep deprivation, sleep apnea, it's interfering with your ability to, to be cognizant on the road, eye deterioration, other health deterioration, which is interfering with your ability to drive. The Department of Public Safety is, they're the boss when it comes to these things, and they can say when and what and where these suspensions will go down and how long they are. 